welcome to another episode of Anything and Nothing. Woo woo! I feel like I have to say that every time. <laughs> I'm Michelle. This is Tamara. Um, today, Tamara did the drink, so I'm going to let her take it. Yeah. Um, so tonight, I decided to pick a different alcohol than we've uh, done, I guess, the last... 10 episodes. Um, so I chose a cognac drink. So I feel like the fellas might like this, um, but it's called a sidecar. It's a pretty classic drink, well-known. Um, they do recommend that you rim your glass with sugar just because it is pretty dry and tarty. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. This is our first like car cognac drink. Oh God. I just love saying the word cognac. Oh God. All right. All right. We have to be careful because it's cheers. cheers. And it's such a pretty orange color. It's actually not bad. So Can you, I took a little bit of the sugar in. I took a lot of sugar in. Yeah, so it, it was a good balance. Yeah, for sure. You don't think you'd like it without the sugar? Uh-uh. Oh. I think it would be tart. Yeah. I think it would just be more tart. Than yeah, I, I, I totally took the sugar um, in. Yeah, I got, I'm, I'm going to take all the sugar. <laughs> all like the lick sugar. It, lick the <laughs> rest. Yes. Okay, I'll try so not to be extra. Try the sidecar. <laughs> now that I have still like a half a bottle of cognac, I think I might have another sidecar. Right. So. We are right. moving on to our random topic. Um, you're probably wondering what the heck these other two random people are, who <laughs> they are. Um, we are spicing things up and including some additional folks. Um, we plan on doing this, I think, like maybe like once or twice a month. Um, but we've got my sister, Kia, and our mutual friend, John Bird. Uh, to hey, guys. Yeah. Hi. Um, to join us for our random topic. Um, super appreciate you guys, uh, yeah, joining. So I think it'll be spicy. Um, I'm going to pick a topic. And you have to be honest. That's like the only rules about this is honesty <laughs> and no judgment, no judgment. We can judge in our eyes. Michelle, okay. try to work on that. All right. You know, I can't fix my eyes. All right. You guys ready? This is a good one. Okay. Dating a friend's ex boo. Yes or no? Absolutely. Can you? No. No? No, Steve. No, no. Steve, Bobby. No, we're not doing that. Okay. Mm -mm. Um, Jumber. No. But you no. should be very clear on the differences. Oh, so, sorry. Okay. It's, yeah, it's levels to it, right? Sorry, okay, yeah, you know yeah, what? Yeah, I, it's I, so it says, dating a friend's ex boot, situationship, or they just dated. So, right. so we're talking levels. So we're talking, yes, ex, ex boyfriend and, uh, wife or a husband different we're talking someone that you random hook were up. in a situation with or you had a random hookup with or you went on a couple of dates and never had sex okay let let me restate because actually I just, okay. had, I just had this conversation the other day i would say okay. generally somebody that was dating one of my friends automatically becomes like brother zone in my head mm -hmm. right so <laughs> like it's like being you tricked your head like it's like being attracted to your brother so it just kind of makes them off limits to me however i swear i was just talking to my friend about this the other day i um this was way back in the day um i had like this friend that was like dating right so i'm gonna leave it at that she was dating a bunch of people and oh. she, was, she oh. had dated this guy briefly it was a hookup a couple times and he was interested in me and I'm like oh well you know he was dating so-and-so so let me go ask so I actually asked her I was like listen I know you was just kicking it with him <clears throat> and you know he's showing some interest Would had they had sex mind? huh yeah. had they had sex they had yeah. okay the only time I think I ever did this it's funny that this came up but yeah so and she was like no I was just kicking it blah 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 so I'm like, all right. And so I actually started talking to him because I wasn't the type that just, you know, hump people. I'm, I'm there to build things. <laughs> so um, no judgment over here. We, we had like a, a, a small relationship and, and she was mad as shit. However, oh, after. oh, after she How, told you it was okay. Yes. However, I feel like it's, it should be a courtesy conversation if, if you are really thinking about that, right? Yeah. That's what grown people do. But I think generally... It's enough penis out here to go find your own and not be scraping up behind something. However, right. shit happens. And right. if it does happen, I think that you should have a conversation. Yeah. Right. Okay. Over to you, John. Uh, I, <laughs> yeah. I love it. 
Yeah, I wholeheartedly agree. Um, being somebody who's been in that situation before, um, I was hanging out with somebody, and you guys know how random I am. Uh, somebody was hitting me up like, hey, what are you getting into this weekend? I was like, oh, I think I'm riding bicycles. And she's like, oh, can I come with you? She's like, yeah, sure. I'm like, you know, okay, cool. She comes. And so she's always hitting me up trying to do just whatever, like, oh, what are you up to this weekend? Whatever random thing she would always want to tag along. So then randomly it's on some, hey, I really like you. And I was like, uh, I don't like you. You used to date my friend Chris. So yeah, nah, oops, I shouldn't be saying names, but she used to date my friend Chris. So everybody, What's yeah, up, Chris? everybody. Yeah, <laughs> no. Who knows if he'll see this. But um, to make a long story longer, uh, she hits me with the, you know, hey, I really like you. And I'm like, I like myself too. Uh, where are you going with this? And she's like, I think we should, you know, kind of see where this goes. And I was like, yeah, nah, you used to date Chris. She was like, that was in high school and college. That was a long time ago. So, you know, I go, hey, let me ask Chris. Chris goes, I don't care, but I'm just going to let you know she's crazy. And I was like, mm, so no, are you saying okay. yes? Yeah. Are you saying yes or are you saying no? <laughs> and so he's like, I don't care, but I'm just going to let you know right now she's crazy. And then fast forward to she ends up being crazy. So there's a reason why your friends stop dating certain people and stuff like that. And why if they're not good for you enough for your friends and they're ex of your friends. There's a reason why you should talk to them. So just my two cents. That's a good point. I didn't I didn't think about the whole why they didn't date, but yeah, sometimes I'm gonna, this say, I'm gonna say for me, I agree with Kia. A conversation needs to be had, period, end of sentence, whether yeah. whatever the situation is. I don't necessarily a hundred percent agree with that's a reason why they didn't date, you know, before like why it didn't work out because people just don't work out. Sometimes people don't their personalities don't click. So they could have went on two dates. It didn't work. Yeah. And why should we throw him to the wayside? Maybe he's good. Right. For Maybe else. he's a good guy for your friend. Right. For your friend. <laughs> but not for you. Yeah. Uh so now I necess I probably wouldn't just take anybody, but I mean, if someone approached me that talked to my went on two dates with my friend two years ago. Yeah. And, and it had been years too. It wasn't like just yesterday. Right. And I mean, but like you said, Kia where you put them in like this brother box. If they dated and I actually met them and we hung, and out. We hung out, that's different. That's a whole different situation. So even if, you know, because, you know, Tamara is heavy on that sometimes with bringing people around and she had only gone out with, with for like a month. Yeah. But he knows about it. And I'm like, can I bring him over to your house? <laughs> yeah. And it's like, uh, you but, know, but I feel like those people are, being, are already done for me. Those are done. I'm mean, they're not an option. I didn't mm -hmm. even know what I was doing. <laughs> yeah. But I also think that, so for me personally, I've obviously been in the situation, but I think it was different in that I- Who that was? Who that was? Oh. <laughs> oh, but that was on the other end. You it weren't was on the, the other end. Yeah, I wasn't the pride. Yeah. But like it was, I mean, I was the byproduct ish kind she, of she i was, guess she was the person that they i was the person i was the person so you weren't the person making the decision you know the they had to make a decision had to be made on. but here's the thing it had been it was two different worlds right and they just happened to collide and i didn't know that but it was also like two years ago on this one and then two years later and there wasn't there's no relationship it was a uh, hey like a, a, a hey is that what we called it a hey <laughs> What, it was a, a smash and dash like what are we uh, calling it? a smash and dash or like what, what are we talking about here a sm i don't think it, we, i a smash and dash just sounds so skanky mm -hmm. can we figure out another word for it don't it? i know i mean it's like it's kind of like I that mean, but I don't, I don't like that I mean, word it makes me oh you're not gonna say it's kind of like that no you're not gonna co-sign it <laughs> Just saying, call, it, call a spade a spade you know? right 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 we will all sip on that one um so so i hit yeah, the whole bottle no judgment zone i personally i personally i don't know i think for me personally it would be hard like even if it was a guy that you went out with a couple of dates years ago it would be hard for me to date him because i'm like oh michelle so probably if, kissed him yeah but what if you didn't know that I went. If I didn't know, him, yeah. And then you showed me a picture after like one date. Would you stop dating him? And I really liked him. Uh huh. Oh, I would uh -huh. ask if you had a problem with it. Mm. And because you know, you know that's that's like, what if you know with all these like online dating and stuff, you don't know who's out there. Yeah. So I could have easily went on two dates with somebody and not told you about him, and you never saw him. So that's a good question, Kia. To you, if your friend would have said, 
nah, I'm not comfortable, what would you have done? I wouldn't have dated him. Yeah. Because there's there's enough penis to go around. Right. I wouldn't have dated him. But I'm gonna tell you it was a good ass damn decision to ask him. <laughs> I mean it was it was a heavy decision. <laughs> So I'm glad I asked for permission, but I don't know. I mean, like to each his own, like Michelle said, like also is levels to like your friendship. Like if I'm close enough to you to know even your smash and grabs, even your potential long-term, then that stuff is kind of like off, you know, limits maybe, you know, unless you've grown enough to have a conversation because y'all are friends. She like, said I mean, maybe. She told me yeah. <laughs> you know, she could have told me absolutely night. And I've been like, well, damn, you know, he's sweating me though, but all right, you know. Yeah, I'm right. You know, but she was just like, I don't care. Cause she was on to like three people down. So I'm like, well, hey. and that's in how you broached it was like, she's dating multiple people. He just happened to be one of them. So to me, it's just like young and like him, but it's still, I guess, kind of like off limits. And it makes me think of like another situation where it's the guy feeling you, right? Like, do you, if I know that Michelle, like that, Mich- there's a guy that Michelle's talking to and she likes him, but he basically sidebars me and says like, oh, I'm interested in you. He's what shady. do you do with that? That's some shady shit. I would go tell Michelle. Yeah. Hell <laughs> yeah. It, it hasn't happened. You're looking at me. I could have said, yeah. I'm like, what you do with that? Why she, Why would that even be a question? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm yeah. Gonna, you I- know, that shouldn't be, that shouldn't be a question. No, I no, I bought it up because it was it came in conversation. <laughs> it's not you personally. Yeah. I mean, he is married. So I can't ask. And John's a guy, so like, sure. I'm not a lesbian. I can't like bounce off him. You're the only one I can fucking bounce off with right now with that particular question. All right, okay. Yeah, so, and that that, that changes game. the whole conversation. Then that be, that's a shady dude. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right, exactly. That's a whole nother topic. Yeah. Okay. So I think that we all kind of, it sounds like we all kind of agree that it's just a, it's a conversation. It's a conversation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause John Bird had the conversation. He had the conversation. I was but John the- Burr said you still should stay away though because it's it's probably yeah, a bad it, look anyway. It, it, yeah, it get messy it and- <laughs> yeah. yeah. Can you tell us about that? Because it sounds like you realized that she was crazy. So how'd you realize she was crazy? Um crazy might be a strong word. I mean, I, first of all, let me just preface this by th- by letting you guys know this is gonna spiral to another thing. But I think all women are crazy. I think on a level of a scale of one to ten, I think women started a five. And, but on this particular scale of one to ten, she's a she was a, she was at a nine, nine point five, because uh, just her morals and values were just like she was on her high horse or what have you, and uh, just thought she was better than everyone. And her expectations of what men were doing when you're just dating someone were just kind of outlandish. So that's where it went with me, because um, you know I had explained to her I was like, uh, you're not my girlfriend. We're kind of just dating. Like I don't know, I don't even know you that I would even date you exclusively. And she kind of like lost it and would just be like on some other stuff. So. Uh, it was just a bad you anyway like let's go for bike rides hey you want to do laundry she sounded like a nut uh, so <laughs> it, it's 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 even crazier because i was trying to put her the whole time i was trying to put her on with someone else let me start at the beginning so she dated my friend back high school college time frame we all went to college together so fast forward to i don't know 10 years later you know everybody's moved on uh my friend who used to date her is now married has a kid blah blah blah, blah on with his life I see her at another mutual friend's party. And so I'm talking to her, I was like, hey, I haven't seen you in a minute. Have you been, blah, 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 chop it up and everything like that. So then a friend of mine, you know, at this particular event that I met with her where she's at, comes up to me and is like, oh, is that you? And I was like, oh, no, 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 no. That's, that's uh, one of Chris's exes, you know, um, they used to date a long time ago. He's like, oh, okay, she's cute. And I was like, uh, I mean, yeah, I, I guess she's cute. And um, he's like, can you put me on? I was like, yeah, sure, I got you. He's like, yeah, I thought that was your girl. So, you know, I get her number, you know, and call her up. And I'm like, hey, uh, you know, did you notice my friend at the party? She's like, your friend? Like, who was your friend? What did he look like? I was like, you know, the real good looking guy. He's in shape. You know, he plays sports. You know, he's a good guy. You know, I'm selling. I'm sell mode. I sell my friends. So she's like, okay, well, yeah, you know, introduce me. Give him my number. I was like, okay, cool, bet. Because, you know, she's like, I'm single. Give him my number. So I give her uh, his number. I mean, I give him her number. And then, so, you know, I'm hitting her up periodically, like, hey, did he hit you up? She's like, no. But so in the process of checking up on her, she's always asking me, well, what are you doing this week? And I was like, I'm skydiving. I don't know. 
you know, she's like, oh, okay, I want to come. I was like, yeah, sure, you can come. I don't give, I don't care. So, you know, after doing this about three or four times, and I'm not even, I'm slow at this point. I'm not that bright. So I'm not picking up on the fact that she's interested. And after about the fourth time, she's like, hey, so what do you think about me and you since your boy is not like really hitting me up? And I'm like, uh, yeah, nah, you should date Chris. Nah, well, I'm good. So then she's like, why don't you just ask him? So I asked Chris, and Chris was like, I don't care. He's like, I'm grown. Okay. No. But I, I like how, you know, you were so busy, like, doing gondola rides down, like, the Potomac and shit. Like, bitch, exactly. I'm, I'm skydiving. <laughs> I'm doing gondola rides. I can't. But, John, like, I do have a question. I'm not a host or nothing. But, like, what made you go ahead and, like, oh, I'm going to hit it and quit it? Mm. Um, she's a good looking, she's, she's, she's attractive and she's, you know, she's smart. And in terms of, you know, if you don't get, to, if you don't know somebody on paper, if you look at her in terms of morals and values, in terms of like what she would look for in a potential life mate, she checks the block on those things. Now, you know, those things don't overshadow her crazy. So that's kind of like, you know, where me personally, in terms of how I look at people in terms of whether I would date them seriously, like, are your pros, do they overweigh your cons, and do those overweigh your, your crazy? And at that particular juncture, because I didn't know her, those pros had overweighed her crazy and her cons. And then as I got to know her, I was like, nah, this shit, this is not me. She's crazy. So, so Michelle and I just sidebarred and said, is this the new John? Because you usually <laughs> are not, you know, her yes. moral, her morals and values. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck is he talking about? Right you now? thought about it as I was <laughs> skydiving on Thursday. I'm still like, like, skydiving shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, who are you? What? what are, I, I don't know. <laughs> we don't know, John. I was about to say, what are y'all implying? Y'all implying that I'm just like some type of slut bag hoe and I'm just going to be like out here in these streets? What? You literally are the man that tells me all the time, I take what the defense gives me. So that means I am available and ready for whatever is thrown at me and I take it. That's what I take when the defense gives me. What do you, what does that mean to you? Because that's what I take. You take what people give and you embrace it. Mm-hmm. I feel like it, we're a little off topic, though. We, we, yeah, we, we, we are a little bit. John, don't like to railroad you, John. John, you right. don't want to try it. I feel it like, 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 like we need to do an after show. We need to make an after show with that. She ain't have to go with that. Yeah, John Bird. Yeah, like that. I mean, if yeah, John I wanted that, to but. try it out after he landed on Earth from skydiving, <laughs> John wanted to try it out. That's just one topic. Thank you. Thank you to our guests. Yeah, Sarah, do you want to check? Thank you. Thank you. Thank I y'all. appreciate y'all being here. Tamara apparently appreciates y'all being here. Drink toast to y'all. Uh, do you have a drink? All right. Cheers. You got it. Okay, cool. All Cheers, right. Cheers, guys. Bye. Right. Bye. Bye. Bye.